Hey everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. So let's dive right into this. So the squeeze on the S&Ps continues to plow forward. I thought we would actually start pushing back for a reversion to the 21 EMA uh, starting today. Obviously that did not happen. Um, we were looking for big inflows into XLE, which we got. I thought we'd see some X flow, uh, outflows at XLK technology, which we did not get. So this boosted the S&Ps and we continued climbing higher. Our long stocks from the end of your tax loss harvest trades, uh, let's do a quick look on those, a quick look at those. We did five of those. So if we look at AAOI, uh, it was fairly quiet. We'll bring this back and look at a daily chart here. Um, overall, fairly quiet. This is kind of what we're looking for is to see if we can pop up to about $39. And then if we look at AKAO, Again, another, another uh, tax loss harvest uh, stock. Nice pop today. That's kind of what we're looking for. You can see the volume that poured into the stock. And then Triple D. Um, Triple D, also a nice one here, up 4.86% today. Looking for more gains on that. And last but not least, ONVO. So that's kind of the, the it's a trade I do every year. It's the last day of the year. You're looking specifically for tax loss harvesting targeted trades. They all typically pop up pretty good the first couple trading days of the year. And so far, so good on there. And then uh, from there, what about some trades that are setting up for tomorrow? Well, some of the ones that we liked a lot at the end of the year, one of them was EDU. You can see that this one is now racing up to its 1272 extension target for those of you that held on over the weekend. A couple of people were asking today, gosh, is it running out of juice or could it get up to the 1618? This is where you really want to be aware of the larger time frames. And if we go here and we look at that weekly chart, you can see the squeeze here hasn't even started. So if we look at this from a weekly perspective, we've got a lot of potential to come up and tag that 1618 extension. Okay. Um, so part of the key with stuff like this is that you saw that we looked at a daily squeeze, right? And so the question is like, okay, well, how can we tell when there's a bunch of different squeezes setting up? And what are some things to kind of look for in 2018? And so let's take a quick look at that. All right. And last but not least, um, for those of you that recently took the uh, Top Hat course, um, I'm going to be doing a free webinar talking about those tools. So if you took the course and you've already got the tools, great. Uh, you're welcome to come to this webinar and just kind of see some additional ways to utilize those tools. If you didn't take the class and you want to see what these tools are, uh, these are going to be integral to my trading plan in 2018 and just want to show you how they work and how to set them up uh, on Thursday. So if you go to simplertrading.com forward slash top hat, it'll bring you to a page. You can just click this and claim your spot. Uh, this is a free webinar. And it's going to be this Thursday, January 4th at 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock East Coast. So what we're going to be talking about, when to expect major reversals in 2018, how to find massive swings before they start. Okay, think of it as an early warning. Why sneaky sector rotation exposes your portfolio to painful losses and how to properly hedge for risk. When to avoid overbought and oversold signals like the plague. Okay, we're going to look for those red flags, or in this case, a blue flag. Why Wall Street's ruthless trading algorithms gives traders historic profits in 2018. This is a really cool thing that we've been doing more and more of. I want to show you the exact time frames that we've set this up on and a bunch more. So again, this will be a free webinar talking about tools and strategies that I'm using for 2018 as part of my 2018 trading plan. And this applies to futures, currencies, stocks, options on stocks, and the cryptocurrencies, which we're trading more and more. All right, you guys have a fantastic rest of the evening, and we'll see you at the next update.